Hi everyone. I thought I'd make a short video that uh, I was trying to address a particular problem with the uh, quarantine that we're all experiencing with the coronavirus. Um, I needed a haircut just before they closed down all the salons. So I was trying to figure out what I was going to do because I live alone and so I couldn't really get somebody to come over to cut my hair or at least I didn't know who would be able to do that. And I remembered the Floby product, which was a hair styling device back, I don't remember exactly when it came out, the 2000s or, or maybe even in the 90s. And that got me curious. So I thought I would look into it and I actually purchased a Floby and I thought I would uh, document my first experiences with it. So when I went to the uh, web to see if Floby was even available, here's what I found. So Amazon had it available for $145 and then there was another one that's available that's actually $169, which that seemed a little bit pricey to me and I wasn't sure. I see that there's another option here. I've never heard anything about this particular system. That might be a cheaper way to go. Might be something you could use. I didn't know about it, so I stuck with the Floby. Um, it says more buying choices here, so let's explore that real quick. And it doesn't look like there really are other buying choices. And that this is actually saying, um, well, it is available from these sellers. And there's only one seller. And it's a hundred and sixty nine dollar product. So so I was not too impressed there. I wasn't sure I wanted to get that. Uh, but then I wondered if the Floby site was still there. And sure enough it is. And it looks like it's from the nineties. It looks like the site uh the company is actually in Caraville, Texas. I live in Austin, Texas. So that's uh kinda close actually to where I live. So it looks like they they're still around. Their website is secure. I got the little lock up there. And um, I think I'm good. You know, I decided why not give it a try and order it. Now, when I went to order it, um, that was the one thing that was a little bit disappointing. They sell this mini vac because uh, some people have vacuums that are not powerful enough. Uh, but the thing that was kind of disappointing that the Floby system itself was, was $98.95, then as a plus shipping and handling. When you go to get the shipping and handling, it turns out that the shipping and handling is about $20 plus the tax. So I ended up having a system that cost me close to $27 for the shipping and handling. So $125. Um, anyhow, I went ahead and ordered it. And then I thought, well, in order to be sure, um, I actually went to YouTube and looked up some videos and to follow the, their procedures. They had a couple of good ones, including the original videos that uh, the, the company put together that were originally released on videotape. So um, I, follow, I watched those, and when I felt confident enough, I went ahead and set it up. And this video shows uh, some of that. This is my first YouTube video. We're in the middle of the coronavirus quarantine, and. Um, just before the hairstylists closed, I had to get my hair cut. So I wasn't sure what the best option was, but I thought I would give something a try that I have seen before and had considered and talked myself out of, but now I had kind of a justification for giving it a try. And that's the Floby, which I just received. And um, I'm going to try to set it up and use it for the very first time. I'm not much for real stylish haircuts. I just don't worry about it too much. I like to get a good haircut when I get my hair styled. Um, I would say that this last time I got my hair styled, it wasn't the best job. Um, the place I go normally does a pretty good job, but not every time, and this last time was not so good. Anyhow, I've um, decided to give the Floby a try, and I've seen videos on YouTube that actually have uh, people trying out the Floby, but that's usually after they've actually used the Floby a couple of times. This is my first attempt. I just received it. I have opened it, and I um, got the instructions out of it. And I looked over some YouTube videos. So I think I'm ready to give it a try, and we'll see what happens. 
So the first thing I want to do is open up the box and show you what's inside. Okay, so here's what's the bo in the box. This is uh, pretty much how it looked when I got it. Um, you got the instructions and you got the box here and the adapter. And this is the power supply. I'll show you where that connects up. And then this is the main unit here with hoses. Now this box is actually the box that will be used to store it and they really crammed it in. So that's kind of disappointing because I would just as soon have had a little extra space because you don't want to kink the hose, I wouldn't think. The hose not only has the, uh, well, it's, it picks up the debris, the, the hair, it's also got a wire in it to uh, transfer the power up to this head. And so uh, here's the head and the adapter plugs into this right here. And then this goes into your vacuum. And in order to make a good fit, they give you this adapter. And they also give you this little rubber hose or covering that you can use if you don't get a, a snug fit. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this or not. I think I'm going to try it without that first because I have a very good fit with my vacuum and it's a pretty powerful vacuum. So um, once you have it all set up, one of the other things that you do before you start they give you this little bottle of oil. You put three drops of oil on these blades. But the real secret to having this be successful, they say, is to understand the spacers. So the way these spacers work, that's where it, oh, there it is. So the way these spacers work is you've got different lengths. And um, so that's, one of the shorter length ones and this one even shorter and then you got these longer ones now these i had already joined together as i was looking at it so what you want to do is there's little tabs in here so you need to, to separate them you need to hold it right and squeeze it to separate it there it's like that and then this one goes like that and so what you have to do is take your hair and well, one more thing is you have this one, which is the one that goes on the bottom. So this goes up against your scalp and connects up to one of, the, one of these. And let's see if I can get on there. And then you raise your hair up. And I'm not in the picture right now. I'll do that in the other room. But you basically adjust the, the total height of this to the height of your hair that you want to have it left. And then the vacuum will basically, I'm sorry, I got it upside down. The vacuum will actually, um, uh, the blade will hit it at that point. So uh, the other requirement for it is you don't want to cut off more than one half inch. All right, so um, I think with that, we'll go into the bathroom where there's a lot of light and a good mirror and give it a try. Um, and then I, before I actually try it, I will show you the vacuum setup. Okay, so I'm using the phone right now because I have the other two cameras ready to go, but I just wanted to show the setup here. And unfortunately, my Dyson vacuum, although it's got a powerful motor, it has a particular problem that I did not notice before. Uh, when I tested it out earlier, um, I had just put the nozzle, the adapter in here, and it seemed to be snug enough, but it is not. And if you try to use the rubber adapter on it, there's this bump that's right there, um, or this, this uh, connector latch that is actually keeping it from going and being airtight. So I had to find a different vacuum, and I went out to the garage and I pulled this one out. This is a shop vac, but it's actually... Uh, a stow and go so it comes in easily but it might not be powerful enough I think it will be but it was kind of disappointing that I couldn't use the indoor vacuum and I had to go to get the outdoor vacuum the manufacturer does suggest that you use a shop vac um, so I guess we're a little bit closer to that anyways they also sell a mini vac um, I will say also that this connection was a hassle this was the uh, 
connection between the two. They had a fit, but it wasn't snug enough. So I put the rubber band around it and it was very tight. And it took me quite a long time of just wrestling with it in order to get it to go on there. But it's on there now. And um, I think we're all set with the setup. I'm going to uh, hook the cameras up and or turn the other cameras on and start using the Vlobi. All right, here we are. Um, I'm ready to try it now. So the first thing I will do, and um, well, I guess the first thing is to take the oil and put it onto the head. So what they recommend is three drops of oil. So I'm going to do that. One, two, and then you turn it on just to keep the blades lubricated they recommend you do it in the old videos they said every other time but the new ones say every time so now the next step is going to be to figure out how the spaces should be set up actually that's probably you should have that set up first but I wanted to do it for the video all right so what you need to do is to put the space first get the, the uh, header or the, the one that goes up against your scalp which is these that have the feet on them and then connect one up to it and when you do that well I'm going to connect up the longest ones first I think so these are the longest ones and I'm going to move this viewer here so I can see what I'm doing a little better these are the longest ones here and you basically just want to snap it together like this. Doesn't go super easy. Let's try it the other way. There we go. Now, now that I think about it, that probably was a mistake. In fact, I think I'm going to grab the other one. Well, no, I guess not. I'm going to take this off. And I think you squeeze these tabs to take these off. This one, these come off a little harder than the other ones do. But I think it makes sense to have these put together. And then in my case, I've got pretty long hair. So I'm gonna put this other one on here. Well, actually, yeah, I'm gonna put this other one on here. And then I'm gonna put this last one on here. Now, Again, let's take a look at my hair. Uh, I've been moving around, getting the vacuum set up and everything. It's kind of a mess. But it was never styled real well anyhow. Um, back when I was younger, the hairstylists would ask what kind of hairstyle I would want. And I'd always tell them, use your own judgment and trust you. And then they'd always figure I didn't care. Um, and kind of, I, I just did trust them that they would have better sense of style than me. And yeah. So we snap that on there, and what you need to do here with this is you have to pull your hair up and look to see, and I have to go and look in the mirror because I can't look at it on the viewer. All right, I've got too much on here right now, so I guess this was too long. I'm going to take this piece off. And now if I go and do the same thing again, See, you can see my hair is coming out here, but it's too long because you can only have a half an inch. And so I'm getting more than a half an inch there. And I would rather, well, actually, maybe not. So, yeah, that's kind of part of the, the safety that you don't mess things up. But it's also a little bit time consuming to set these up properly. Now I'm going to put this on here and try it. And now, yeah, it's too short now. So I'm going to have to leave it where it was. There is this one here that's in between. And I suspect this is going to be the one I'm going to want to use now. So we put it up like this. And yeah, that's about a half an inch. All right. Now, one of the things that the manufacturer also suggests is actually go a little bit extra with it just to, and I'm going to just be extra safe, I'm going to put this one on here, 
this they say before you actually do it try it once with it too long so you won't be cutting any hair and you kind of get a feel for how it's going to go together so i think i'm going to do that i'll take this one off when i'm ready to cut but then i snap this onto the head and i'm all set there now it's going to get loud in here once i turn the vacuum on in post-production i'm going to try to turn that down or maybe uh just put music on or something. But here we go. Okay, I could definitely feel a good amount of pulling on there. And my hair is actually pretty good hair, but it's, um, it, it's not so thick that it's a problem. So um, I, think, I think it'll be okay for this. But I think other people might have trouble with certain uh, coarseness of their hair. All right, so now just, I'm, gonna, I'm snapping this in place here and I'm ready. And then just to make sure, looks like I'll be okay. Let's give it a try. This is the first cut. Alright, I'm trying to show you something there. All right, that was the first pass. And I think my hair's a little shorter. It was trimmed off uh, very little. You go a little bit at a time with it. So now I think I'm gonna try to change the setting here. And um, I think instead of running it, instead of running it with this long one, I'm gonna change that out and put the short one on there. And Let's see, it takes a little getting used to these connector things here. But this changes it. This should only change it by that much, which is about half an inch. So if I've trimmed all the other stuff off, then uh, I should still have a good clearance. But just in case, I'm going to test it. Oh yeah, my hair is definitely shorter now, now that I pull it up. Okay. Yeah. I want a nice shortcut this time. <laughs> I don't want to do this too often. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try. I like a short haircut, especially when the weather starts getting warmer. So let's see how this does. All right, my hair is shorter now, but uh, I might have missed some spots. I, m I went back further this time 
than I went back the last time. So I'm not sure how well it's going to do there. Um, so I'm going to say that that's short enough for now in case I need to correct anything. Okay. Um, so the next step is the sides. And one of the things they warn you about is don't go up the side and around like this because you'll round it unnaturally. So what they say is come straight up like this with a shorter style. This has the same rule though. You don't want to do more than a half an inch at a time. So I need to make that test. I've got pretty long hair here on the sides. So I'm going to do that here and Yeah, this is actually still too long though. So I'm going to split, take this down to the, the one that's a half smaller, which is this, this one here. Oh, this is a tapered one. That's a tapered one. Hmm. I guess that's as small as I can get it. That's interesting. All right, so I think I have to use this. But I don't think I have more than a half an inch there. Anyways, I think it's a little bit flexible about that half inch rule. Um, it's not like we get a ruler out or anything. <coughs> All right, here we go. All right, it's definitely shorter. However, well, that's not too bad. Now it's not right around these ears yet, but there's a third step for that. So what we would do is use this same length, but use the tapered one instead on it. Um, hope I got that right. Actually, I think I'm just gonna. Yeah. I'm going to put this on and then this, but I might end up taking this off. Oops, I'm not showing that. So it's looking like that. We'll see how that does. They actually suggest too that you might want to flip it when you're on one side versus the other. So let's see how that goes. I got two video cameras going, but one's a little bit bleached out compared to the other. So we'll see how that works too. And um, hopefully they're both running. All right, here we go. I think that made a big improvement on the side. Now we'll do the other side. I'm going to flip, flip this over like this. All right, I'm not as happy on this side as I was on the other side. I'm not sure what happened there or why that is. Um, they do recommend though that you get a razor to finish up the last of it. And I think I'm going to try that now. My shaver comes with a razor tip. So let's see how that does. 
This is where I have to be careful because now I'm running without a net. It's also where I want to be over the sink. Okay, um, it looks like we lost one of the videos. I've still got the other one running, I think. Um, I'm gonna call it and say, mildly successful. I can live with it like this. Um, I think that the more I do this, the, more, the better I can get with it. Um, overall, I had to fix it up on the sides here uh, with the trimmer, but for the most part, not too bad. Okay, thank you for watching this video, and uh, I hope you found it useful. Um, I'm overall satisfied with the haircut that I got. Um, and if I can continue to use it, um, saving about $20 each time I go to get my haircut will uh, eventually cause it to pay for itself in the end. So again, thank you for watching, and if you like this, please give it a thumbs up.